Hey, beautiful creatives. Welcome to Life by Design, the podcast. Thanks for joining me, your host, Nikki Tragos. I'm an artist, letterer, instructor, and creative business owner. I started and built Life by Design from home while raising a family and learning how to juggle it all. This podcast is my way of pulling back the curtain and inviting you to step into my home studio so we can get candid about all things art, business, and life so I can help you create a life that you design. Hey, hey, fellow creatives, welcome to episode number 11. Yay! Good number, actually. This episode is going to be a little bit lighter than the last few, but really important if you are going from hobby to business with your art. Yep, time for a little more business advice. In today's episode, I'm going to chat with you about passive and active income in your business. Let's dive right in. So maybe you're new to having a creative business, or perhaps you've been selling your art for a little while now and are working on ways to create a diverse stream of income. Music to my ears, actually. Regardless of where you are, I am sure you'll be inspired to pick up a few ways that you can generate some revenue from your art and make sure to have a balance of both passive and active income streams. Sound good? Yep. Episode 11 is all about the beauty of making a living from your art and even making money while you sleep or while you paint or maybe even while you binge your favorite Netflix show. I don't know. (laughs) For years, I have taken multiple online business courses to help me grow and build my business so that it suits my needs, my schedule and my income goals. Now, I haven't always had success with what I've planned to do in my business, but when I find something that works, I feed that stream as much as I can. Creating passive and active income streams is something that I've blogged about. It's something that I've taught in a few of my classes, and it's something that I'm talking about here on the podcast because I believe that if you have a creative business and especially have a presence online, then you need to have a diverse income stream to help sustain you year round and long term. Okay. What is active and passive income? You ask, let me tell you passive income is money generating products in your business that require no effort from you to make the sale. Okay. So other than setting up that product, you do not have to do anything else to make that sale. For instance, I sell lettering workbooks. So they're electronic, they're digital, I spent a lot of time creating the book and making it look good and listing it on multiple sites and making sure that the photos and the keywords were all intact. I spent some time marketing them here and there and put systems into place. Okay. But other than that, I literally do nothing when they sell. So those are workbooks that I created years ago. So since creating them, I literally have done nothing else with them. But when someone buys a book, they automatically get the download link after the sale is confirmed and they can use the book and enjoy the product and learn and do whatever it is that they need to do as much as they want. And when that happens, I get a notification in my email that tells me I made a sale and the money gets deposited right into my bank account or my PayPal account or Stripe, whichever way it's set up. Okay. So passive income is when you create the revenue by having systems in place that are automatic. So they require little or no effort from you. Okay, let me give you another example. So another example would be using print on demand sites. So sites like Society6 or Redbubble. So I create artwork and designs. So I paint, I design, I create these finished files that are digital and I upload them, I put them on Society6, they create mockups for me. So I have designs that go on a multiple multitude of products. They go on to throw pillows and comforters and coffee mugs and phone cases, just to name a few, they have a ton. Then I'll take a few of those product images and I'll put them on Pinterest and a few maybe other social media sites. I'll email my subscriber list so that they get to know when I've got new designs up. And then when somebody buys the product with my design on it, the print on design, a print on a demand company 
they print the product, they ship the product to the customer, and then they pay me a small royalty at the end of the month. Okay, so designs that I created years ago, I'm still earning an income from and I have done a little to no work since that initial setup. Okay, so it's easy. And again, no effort is required by me other than uploading that initial design and setting it up. But I continue to make money from it. That's passive income. So I can make multiple sales from the same design without doing a single thing. Sounds awesome, right? And it totally is. Having that passive income stream, it sets you up for longevity, for you to create income when things might be a little bit slower, but it also allows you free time so you can spend that free time on active income activities. Okay, so what I mean by that is you can spend time painting commissions or lettering envelopes or if you're a photographer, like taking family portraits, okay? Those types of activities, they require your time and immediate attention to earn the revenue and are active income streams, okay? So you actively need to be doing something in order to make that sale. So while I'm not earning my passive income through all my online digital means, I spend my time working on logo designs, new surface pattern designs, art commissions, for example, these types of products and services require my immediate attention and cannot be completed without my personal efforts. Okay. So I'm a firm believer that in order for you to have a long-term sustainable business and in order for you not to burn out, that's really important. You need to come up with, I'd recommend anywhere from maybe three to five different ways that you can earn money in your business. Okay. So don't be overwhelmed. I'm going to give you another example. Let's say you design and sell wedding invitations. So how can you create both active and passive income streams from that style of business? I'm going to give you some ideas. So number one, you can work directly with clients and design their wedding invitation suite. You can print them, you can score them, fold them, package them, and deliver their beautifully designed, and hopefully you've added some personal touches to their wedding invitations, okay? So that's active income. It requires a lot of your time and a lot of your efforts, but the payoff's huge. And it's amazing when you can be able to deliver something as beautiful as someone's wedding invitations. But again, that's active income, okay? So you make the sale, based on what you physically have to do do to deliver that product or that service. But then what you can do is you can, number two, create templates of the wedding suites. Okay, so you can design templates that people can purchase. They can be digital. Then when the person purchases that digital version of your wedding suite, they can customize it, they can print it, they can package it, stuff the envelopes, letter the envelopes, they can do all of that work. So what your initial time spent um, on is, is creating the design and uploading the digital version and listing it on your site or on Etsy or wherever you're selling it. Then that becomes passive income because a multiple amount of clients can purchase that item and you can make money from it without physically having to do anything. So it gives you more time to work on the clients that you want to work with so you can design their custom wedding invitations. Okay, does that make sense? So those are two ways that you can make um, an income. So that's one passive and one active. Now, let's say, for instance, you have some beautiful motifs within your designs. So maybe in a wedding invitation, you have some beautiful florals or some wreaths you can create clip art motifs out of those elements. You can maybe even add in some more interesting flourishes or lettering that will work well with those designs. And then you can package them as a digital download for clients who don't have the time or the own or the talent to create their own. Okay. That's passive income. So again, you can look at one aspect of your business and what you offer and really break it down into multiple ways to create both active and passive income streams. Okay. I hope that inspired some ideas for you. It's easy, right? When you have these three different income streams in place, it allows you to have money coming in 
even if, let's say, wedding season's a bit slower, or best yet, when you want to take a few weeks off and maybe go on vacation. I can't tell you how life-changing it was for me as someone who's self-employed to be able to take a vacation knowing that I'm still going to be able to earn an income. It just makes taking that time off even better so you can relax and enjoy it. So I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to challenge you to have a look at your creative business. Or even if you're just moving from hobby to business, I want you to pick one area that you would like to create some passive and active income streams in. I'm going to give you another example to help you get going, okay? So let's say you paint beautiful watercolors. You can sell your original paintings. That's active income. Okay, so you make the sale, the client purchases it. Once it's done, you need to make more. So that's active. But what if you were to scan those paintings and make digital copies of them? You can then upload those paintings to a print-on-demand company, just like Society6, for example, and you can upload your designs to sell on their site. That's active income. Okay, so what if you took the elements of that beautiful watercolor and you created some clip art files from it and packaged it? Then you can maybe head over to Creative Market and you could sell the clip art files of the watercolor designs. Again, that's passive income. You could even license that beautiful watercolor design. Imagine that. Okay, so now you've spent some time on what you love painting in watercolors. And with one painting, you're able to digitize, design, and create passive income streams from your active efforts. So while you are marketing and sharing your digital designs, it's really easy, by the way. Then all you have to do is paint more originals to sell. Okay, so it's like this beautiful cycle that you can really fall into where you'll have some freedom, you'll have some time, and you'll have some money coming in. And the other thing about the example I just gave you with the watercolor painting is not everyone will be able to afford to buy an original from you. And maybe they want your art hanging on their walls. Maybe they want a phone case with your beautiful work on it. So why not offer them prints that they can afford and so that they can enjoy your art? Wouldn't that be amazing? Okay. So if you have been listening to this episode still, then I know you are either A, really interested in the idea of creating a a creative business where you can look for ways to make that happen, or B, you are looking for ways that you can grow the business that you're already in without getting burnt out. That's really cool. So I applaud you. Wherever you are with your creative business, whether you're still in hobby mode and you're toying with the idea. I want you to know there are tons of options right now to help you start growing and building your business. Okay. There isn't a better time to create and design a business that suits your time, your talents, and your goals than now. I encourage you to think outside of the box and really have fun with how you create multiple income streams from your art. I don't have a single resource to offer you here, but I do cover this topic in depth more in my calligraphy business online course, as well as my greeting card online course. Okay. You can check them out at lifeidesign.com if you want to learn more, but I really want you to just play around with the ideas and the possibilities of making money while you sleep, but also making money with things that you love doing. Okay. So that's it for episode 11. I promised I would keep it a bit shorter and a bit lighter. So I wanted you to just like I said, get some ideas and enjoy building that creative business of yours. I really enjoy sharing business tips with you and I hope you enjoy listening to them. As usual, if you are curious about a certain topic when it comes to art or creating or even business, let me know so I can schedule more content that you want to listen to. Okay. I know this podcast is still young, but I would love to know what you would like to hear more about. Send me a DM send me an email. It's Nikki at lifeidesign.com. Okay. Let's start the conversation. I, I, when I tell you, I want you to message me. I'm telling you, I want to hear from you. Please don't be shy. Message me. So thank you for tuning in to today's episode. The feedback that I have been getting in my DMS and emails have been really inspiring. And I feel like it's making this podcast come to life on its own. So a big thank you again. And if you are loving these episodes, please remember to share the podcast and let's inspire others to create some passive and active income streams in their businesses too.
Okay, so happy creating and dreaming, and I will see you here again next Monday. Bye for now.